Greetings and salutations, mortals. It is I, Carmine Phlegathon, the most cursed and powerful of all VTubers. He who is cursed under the red moon of fate, and he who wields a demon within his right arm. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I am also now he who has a fan. I, I got a, I got my... The fan. The third fan that I ordered on Throne has finally been properly delivered. And I have it now. Um, however, unlike the fan that I was temporarily borrowing, it doesn't seem to have multiple... Like, it's it's supposed to have multiple settings, but I can only turn it onto one setting. Uh, so it's a, it's a bit louder <laughs> than the previous fan. Come in, come in. Come in, come in, come in. Well, welcome in, everyone. Welcome, welcome, Rikair. Hi, 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 hi. What y'all, what you up to? Hope everyone's having a good time. <laughs> oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, you, you chin up, Rikair. If you can just last two hours, that's going to be about, like the limit of the stream. So if you can just last two hours, you will get to catch all of this stream live. Because I myself, yeah, it's late for me as well. But thank you, that, that means a lot. Mm -hmm. Playing some more Skies of Arcadia Legends. The game that is a good game. Like seriously. I've, I've rarely ever heard of Skies of Arcadia, but every time that I somebody talked about it, it was spoken of um, with like a lot of affection, and that's been clear because like everybody, people keep showing up as I'm playing this game. People keep showing up, um, and they're like, "Oh man, this is my favorite game. This is my this is my favorite this is my favorite game or this is one of my favorite games." And it's really just so heartwarming to see a bunch of people who are really passionate about this one niche G JRPG because, like, that's how I am with with some games. <laughs> You've only heard of the Dreamcast version outside of your own experiences. Oh. Well, yeah, the Dreamcast wasn't exactly a popular console. I, don't, I I think all of the the I think all of the notable games were were taken out from and you know put on the GameCube like Skies of Arcadia Legends like Sonic Adventure Two Battle stuff like that stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, and I guess Sonic Adventure? Sonic Adventure DX would have been Dreamcast, right? Um, anyway. Too bad Power Stone. What the heck is Power Stone? A 3D fighting game made by Capcom? Capcom made a 3D fighting game? For the Dreamcast? My word. That's wild. Well, luckily 3D fighters, uh, or just fighters in general, aren't my typical realm of expertise. Power Stone 2? Power Stone 2 has a Metacritic. They didn't make a second one of these, did they? They did! They made a second one, but also for the Dreamcast. Oh, wait, 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 no. These were arcade games first. Initially released by Sega Naomi Hardware and later ported to the Dreamcast. Okay. Oh, and they were ported to the PSP! 
Power Stone and Power Stone 2 were ported to the PSP. That's very nice. Power Stone portable. A flat Super Smash Bros. They were? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm reading Wikipedia. Power Stone... Um, Capcom ported the game in a sequel to Power Stone 2 to the PlayStation Portable as Power Stone Collection, known in Japan as Power Stone Portable. Uh, okay, it was released for the PlayStation Portable in 2006 and was later ported as a download-only version for the Vita in 2012. Hmm. So, yeah, it got ported to the PSP. Nice, nice, nice. I remember playing, te uh, I remember, like, playing a Tekken game on the PSP when we first got a TS, uh, uh, when we first got a PSP, uh, uh, in my childhood. And, like, we had, like, the, the Tekken, Tekken Bloodlines or whatever, we had, we had a Tekken game for PSP, and I was like, whoa, it's Tekken, but, like, new, and it's on the PSP! It was waiting for you, Rikair. It was waiting for you to find it. And now you have found it. Congratulations. Omedito. Omedito. <laughs> now. Let's switch to the piratey game of pirates. And game. Pirates. Pirate, pirate. 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 Pirate! This could be, is this, hmm, no, it can't be. I was gonna say, like, this could be my comfort zone, is I just, I just stream old JRPGs, or like new JRPGs, I just stream JRPGs daily for two hours, but no, 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 no. This is good, but at some point I'm gonna have to... You know, there's too many good genres, not just JRPG. Welcome, welcome, the American Pineapple. Welcome, welcome. We are standing at the precipice of what I believe to be a boss encounter, so... Check the HP. Check the MP. Fine has still got 5 MP. That's gotta be enough, and if we lose, we have a thingamajig. Welcome, welcome, Corpse Channel. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> Just to continue that topic from before, though, what a glorious little console the PSP was. Handhelds were truly just a fantastic place to be. I loved both the DS and the PSP, and it's a shame that, like, the PSP be uh, begot the Vita and then died. And the DS, it kept on marching on, but eventually, alas, no more handhelds, only switches from here on out, only switches and Steam Decks from here on out, <sighs> alas, alack. That's a big fire beast, a rock worm. You used to carry around, carry around two PSPs and two copies of Blast Blue to fight people? Omega based, indeed. I would have done- oh my god! If I was not socially- like, if I was not, like, socially- I don't think I was even, like, too socially awkward, it's, uh, depending on when you go in my youth, but, like, socially unengaged? Um, like, I never would have done this, but it would have been cool if I did that for, for Dissidia. To have people to fight the city or fight it, fight with the city, It was weird because both me and my brother played the city, but we couldn't fight each other because we only had the one PSP with the one copy of the city. Okay. 
I'm not until it casts a spell, I'm not gonna Delta Shield just in case. And finally you're gonna focus. That is sad. What is sad? Oh no, the American pineapple, what happened to your 3DS? Oh man. Without a DS or 3DS, you can't play the greatest game known to man. Okay, we're gonna keep focusing. Okay, I gotta pay careful attention to this rockworm's actions. Oh do. Having someone that also likes a portable fighter, but not having another portable console to play it with them. Well, um, luckily Rekare, Dissidia Duo, Dissidia and later Dissidia Duodecim, uh, both have robust single player modes, uh, including the, uh, including a, uh, a sort of roguelite mode of sorts, uh, in, in Duodecim. I think maybe it was in Dissidia as well. Basically, you can play, I, like, uh, okay, if I was trapped on a desert island, I could only bring one game with me. That I wanted, like, oh, this is the only game that I'm gonna play, be, have, be able to play for ages. It would probably be du Duodecim. There's just so much to do. I might get sick of it, but that that might be the case for any game. Okay, and now we're gonna keep attacking, and Fina's gonna use Luna Blessing. Oh, I've heard about Sengoku Rants. That's the, um, or is it Rants? That's the the. It's like a warring states period thing. You're trying to conquer all these different nations. Like an army game, right? Nice, nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the brain for that. <gasps> Fine, I know. Oh, thank. Yes! System works, baby! Focus. Okay, I'm gonna bet that he can't do that twice in a row. So if we just keep healing... Heal. Ah! Oh my god! Attack, counter-attack, attack, counter-attack. Okay, but heal vice. Even with the, uh... Even with the buff there. With the regen. What the heck is Cinderstorm? I can know! Oh wait, it's only 135, she's fine. Didn't even burn her or anything. Where, where... Guys, I'm crushing this boss. Vice, oh dear. Moons, give me strength. Moons, give me strength. Look at this spread out triangle formation. You'll love to see it. This is the golden trio. Oh, we're even hearing triumphant music. Let's go. Atlas Fury. Atlas Fury. What's wild is that this boss just sort of showed up. We were warned that there were monsters inside, of course. But then I guess what, like, what lore can there be to a giant lava monster? Bam, 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 bam. That's a level up. And Aika has learned Noxus. And we have a Rizzleum box. We're gonna do some. We're, we're, we're gonna Rizzleum. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that. That's beautiful. I love that. 
I love that so much. I'm going to backtrack, and I don't even care if I have to fight this thing again immediately afterwards. Like, like if that, you know, if that's a thing. But like, that's so cool. You guys see that? That's fantastic. You kill the- oh yeah, the magic system's good, but like, you kill the boss, and the boss itself becomes, a, like, the corpse of the boss itself becomes a bridge for you to cross the lava over. Like, look at this thing. His eyes are still open, even in death. That's just so choice. That's so choice! They're taking full advantage of it being a, an early 3D JRPG. They're taking full advantage of the 3D space. Just like the... the the up and down on the world map is something that is only possible thanks to being 3D. Like, compare something like this to, to Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy VIII, it's very different. Oh, this is what we're meant to put in the thing at the start of the temple. Wait, we're meant to put the moon crystal at the- Oh, I don't think we want to put the moon crystal in the- I don't think we want to put the moon crystal at the entrance to this temple. That, that'll probably summon the Gigas. That's bad. Wow. So this is a moon crystal. It's so beautiful. I'm getting weak in the knees just looking at it. A moon crystal is the most concentrated source of energy that you will ever see. It was created by distilling a moonstone into its purest form. Moon crystals are pure energy. This crystal alone has the power of thousands, no, tens of thousands of moonstones. But this crystal is powerful enough to control one of the Gigas? Look at the light radiating from the crystal. Even though thousands of years have passed since the destruction of the old world, the crystal still shines as bright as ever. Between the power of these crystals and the destructive forces of the Gigas, it's easy to see how much, how so much of the world was destroyed. It's sad. The people of the old world had so much power, but they used it to make weapons instead of helping each other. There's no way we can let Valua get their hands on one of these. Fina, leave it up to us. We'll keep it safe. The Valuans are going to have to take it off of my dead body before I hand it over to them. There's so much of the world that I still have to see. I'm not going to let them wake some ancient guardian and destroy half of it now. Thank you very much. Oh! Thank you, Vice. I know you will do your best to keep it safe. Nothing bad can come of this. Nothing bad at all. This is a pedestal where the red moon crystal was. It looks really old, but it's still in perfect shape. Nothing bad will happen now that we have the red moon crystal. Why, there's no reason for the Gigas to show up. That would be just crazy. Oh my god. I just had a thought, mortals. If the Gigas do show up, we might end up having a kaiju fight in an airship. Like, it might end up being an airship versus kaiju fight. That's fantastic. Um... Weren't you waiting by the sh... I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going, and I don't like it. 
I don't like it, mortals. Belena, sorry to have kept you waiting so long. I hope you weren't too worried about us. I'm so glad you're alright. Did you find the moon crystal? Yeah, of course we found it. Oh, here it is! No, voice, you can't! Don't do it! Don't do it, you dumb piece of... Oh, no! Oh, no! Of course she had ulterior motives. I had a, you know, I had a feeling that she was conning us from, from, from previous stream. I had a feeling there was some con, con artistry going on. I knew you could do it. Um, would it be alright if I took a look at it? What? She just takes it? She just takes it? Vice didn't even hand it over. What happened? Wow. So this is one of the legendary moon crystals. It's more beautiful than I ever imagined. Thank you so much. I'm sure that Lord Galcian will be very pleased. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Surprised Pikachu face. Dot PNG. What? What are you talking about? You've been suckered, dude! You've been taken for a ride! She's a con artist! <laughs> Let me show you. I thought she might end up being a party member, which is why I was fine with the fact that she might be running some sort of a con, but, uh, no. Elena, who are you? Oh my god, she's gonna transform. Henshin! No! No way! She's the fourth admiral of the Imperial Armada that was already introduced! <laughs> mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. I quite I quite understand, Rika. Welcome, welcome, Critical. God, why do why must evil women be so good? Welcome in Critical. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I, so I guess I should keep this voice for her, um... Or maybe not, I can change it up. Let me reintroduce myself. I am Beleza, the fourth admiral of the Imperial Armada. I specialize in covert operations. You don't need to get your hands bloody to win battles. Sometimes a little trickery goes a long way. You! You tricked us! Belena? Or, um, Beleza? The Imperial Armada Admiral Moonlights is a belly dancer in another nation. Respectable. So, everything that you said about your parents, about war, about your childhood... I knew it was a lie. Was it all a lie? Did you say just say that to get us to trust you? She played us like a damn fiddle! Oh my god, she was so it wasn't a lie? I told you the truth. I never said my father was from NASA. He was a Valuan soldier, and he did die in battle. Years later, I too became a soldier. I want to put an end to all wars so nobody has to go through what I went through. Oh my god, she has the same motivation, but it's it's an inspiration to crush all other nations through sheer force and unite the world under a single dominant empire. Countries go to war arguing over borders and resources. If the world was united under one rule, there would be no more war. Have you taken a look at the uh, lower city in your own home, Beleza? Like, yeah, there won't be war, there'll just be poverty and despair. 
That is why we need the power of the Gigas to make sure no one opposes us. Valua must rule the world. Blaza, no, don't! I knew it. There's a, she's gonna put it in the thing. She's gonna put it in the thing! I noticed the thing! She's gonna put it now! No! Wow, we really sorta, we really sorta messed this mission up. This, this went real bad. Red Gigas, Recumen, as bearer of the Red Moon Crystal, I command you to awaken and do my bidding. Um, Fina? What did she do? This is bad, right? Recumen, no, she can't be... Goodbye, handsome. Oh! No way! No way! Oh god. Recumen, I command you, engulf these three in your flames. It's a regular boss fight? Oh no, we're gonna run. Vice, Ica, hurry, we must run. Vina, what's going on? The laser, she, she is summoning Recommend, the Red Gigas. She's using the power of the Red Moon Crystal to awaken him. She what? I guess we are going to have to run. Ika, Fina, let's get out of here. <gasps> Grandpa's gotta come to the rescue, please, Grandpa. Please, Gramps. Oh no. Oh god. Oh that oh that's that's a hazard. That's a that's a workplace safety hazard if ever there was one. Oh my, oh no. We're gonna have to fill out a report to give to the health and safety officer. Is that? Oh! The parts of the temple were part of the Red Gigas the whole time! Oh my god! Yes. Yes. That is the Red Gigas Recumen. So those weren't statues in front of the temple, they were its heads. Oh god, it had oh it's oh no no no. Oh no 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 no. It's looking at us. Run! Ah, oh, big laser! Ah Fina! Fina, are you alright? Come on, we gotta go! Oh, Fina, are you alright? Come on, we gotta go! I'm sorry, I tripped. Ika, Fina, take cover! Oh god. What a Chad Vice is. He immediately put his body. He immediately, he immediately like, put his body between the laser and those two. It missed us. Something hit it in the head. Grandpa, 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 Drachma, yeah! I can't leave you three alone, can I? Stop gawking and get on. Captain. Captain, you came back for us. Uh, Captain, you came back for us. I also love Drachma, Rick. Yeah, he's the best. Hurry, maybe we can take that thing out in the little jack. I have a new weapon for you, dude! I have a new weapon to equip you with! Admiral Blazer, that ship is rescuing them! Ready the links. I want to make sure they don't escape. Yes, Admiral. Are those desert troop like like that like that's a blue and knight but like different armor than we've seen before is it just blazer special troops <laughs> well handsome now we can see what you're made of oh evil women why evil women why 
Maybe I should become evil. That feel when no evil GF. <laughs> Wait, you aren't? No, of course I'm not evil! Recare! I am, I am... an extremely powerful force for peace, justice, and love in the universe. Eh? I'm Carmine Phlegathon. Hmm? I'm not evil. I'm just powerful. And extremely cursed. Captain, you came back just in time. Not even morally grey? I mean, define morally grey, Rika. I didn't come back for you. My search for Ragnum brought me back to this desert. I love this Sundere Grandpa. Why are old guys in the party always the best? And I wasn't about to watch the three of you get roasted by that... that thing. <laughs> hey, Fina, Fina, get a load of the captain. I wonder how long he can act like he doesn't care about us. <laughs> Ika, you really shouldn't tease him like that. Who's acting? I just want to find Ragnum. Rotten little brats get me into trouble. He just wants to. He just wants to hunt the big sky whale. He just wants to hunt the big sky whale. But he picked up some stragglers, and now he's emotionally invested in them. Oh, it's like getting a pet. It's like adopting a stray. Calm down, calm down, Captain. What should we do about that thing? Hmm, well, let's treat it like a practice run for when I finally do fight Rack. <laughs> well, he's, he is ride or die. This fool is ride or die. He just doesn't know it. That thing packs quite a punch. Do not get hit by that beam, no matter what. I don't know if that l the little Jack can take a direct hit. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Let's go. Drachma has joined your party. Hey mortals, did I predict this or what? We're fighting a giant kaiju? We're fighting a sky whale, Rigaire, but we're fighting a giant kaiju in an airship. This is the best video game ever. Oh god, yes. Hey, Captain, do you have any ideas how to fight this thing? Hmm. You know my, as much about this thing as I do, boy. Just stay up high and see what it does for now. Okay. We have four, we get four actions per turn now. Let me see if I've got the turn order right here. I, I definitely can understand that, Corpse, because you are fighting a giant ancient kaiju. With an airship. I don't think any other video game does this. I think Skies of Arcadia is in a class of its own. Oh my god, these attacks are doing nothing. Oh my... Oh no. I have timed my evasive action in the wrong section. I'm about to get blasted out of the sky. Okay, we survived that hit, at least. What was that? A few more hits like that and we're done for. I I can't believe it. I've never seen such destructive power before. Okay, definitely guard on that particular turn. Okay. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus. We're gonna guard. And we're gonna focus. Because next turn we're gonna have two opportunities to use the harpoon cannon. How is this not the part that got you hooked on this game? Were you hooked on this game before? Because, like, I would... Listen, you want to know when I got hooked on this game? Like, the opening sequence. I'm a sucker for this game. I'm just a sucker for it. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch! Yo, neat looking me mecha. Anbora, we're fighting a mecha kaiju with an in an airship. This is the best game ever. This is one of the ancient weapons. A gigas. The red gigas of the red moon crystal. Yo, why do we do a main cannon attack? I didn't tell it to do a main cannon attack. What's happening? What are we supposed to do to beat that thing, Captain? There has to be something we can do. Oh, did I accidentally select the main cannon attack? Dang it. Hmm, I don't know if we can destroy him, but perhaps we can avoid his attacks. If you remember when I saved, I mean, when I picked you kids up, I attacked it with my cannons and threw it off, bal and threw it off balance. So what I'm thinking is that we were to concentrate our cannon fire right before it attacks, we may throw its aim off. I suppose it was, it's worth a try. What have we got to lose? Let's give it a shot. Okay. What is C? Uh, C is critical. So I want to attack here. And then focus here. And then attack here. And then repair kit. I think I should repair kit first, actually. It's only prudent. I mean, I'm pretty sure tripods have three legs, but then again, I, I've never actually properly read War of the Worlds, so I don't know. I can see what you mean, though, aesthetic-wise. Just look at this thing, it's wild and creepy. I really just wish that the music was, like, a little louder compared to the... Oh no, we're dead. We went, we've gone down. I never give up. I, I failed. I, I thought I was supposed to throw off the attack somehow. There's a really climactic battle with the apex of human military attack at the time the battleship goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the tripods. Oh, that's very cool. Hey, wasn't there a film wasn't there a film adaption of the board game Battleship? Wasn't that a thing at some point? I don't know why I thought of that for some reason. Was it was there like aliens or something? There was some sort of gimmick, I remember. It wasn't just about battleship combat. A la mouse. A la mouse. Evasive action. <laughs>
there's no front to this thing. It's perfectly symmetrical as far as I can tell. Okay, so... Focus. Guard. Focus. Use repair kit. Oh wait, I can just use I can just use Sakura's on the ship. I'll do that instead. I don't think I'm too good at the ship combat, but boy is it dynamic. Look at how tiny we look next to this thing, it's huge! It big! It big! Hell yeah, Sacres! Back to full, baby! You know what that means? It means we're in the game. Let's do it. And we have now successfully charged up to our max. So we can hit it with the cannons on the critical turns. Okay, I'm gonna try three rounds of consecutive cannon fire. See if that does anything different. God, the textures on this thing look so good. How hype must you how hype must one have been to be like a kid playing this? This is incredible. Okay, this is not... Did I need to specifically target its head as a... as a target or something? Because those shots were definitely hitting the body. Alright, I'm, I'm at least getting through this turn. Let's see what awaits us. A lot of dynamic angles. It really wants me to attack, like, like go all out and attacking it. I'm. Wait, what I do here is going to change the course of the next thing. Okay. S cannon. Standard cannon. I hope this works! Because if it hits us with red ray... Harpoon Cannon! Harpoon Cannon, fire! 
Okay, that hit the heads. Does that knock it off its aim? It misses! Okay, it misses! Okay, I need to not attack it with conventional fire. Like I just did there. This, is, this next round is going to be a real problem because I... I did that. I, I, I spent all those cannon points. Yeah, we did it. We knocked it off balance. Yeah, but, well, it lo doesn't look like we did any damage to it, though. Hmm. I don't know how long we can keep this up. It just feels like we're only prolonging our own deaths. He's got to have a weakness. This is probably almost certainly wrong, and this is complete gut instinct. But let's try the feet. Try attacking its feet. They've got to be supporting a lot of weight. That might be its weakness. Was this- wait, is this the good one or the bad one? God. Attack. God. That does not seem to change anything. It was the heads. It was the heads, wasn't it? I needed to go for the heads. Feet ain't gonna do jack. Oh dang. I really thought I was onto something there, because if we could like get it to trip over. Okay, at least with the evasive actions we should hopefully survive, maybe? This game don't mess around. It really don't. Damn, I was hoping we might be able to topple that thing over, but it didn't even flinch. It's no use, boy. The only thing we're managing to do is damage our own ship. We can't continue fighting like this for much longer. We must retreat for now. Get us out of range of his attacks, boy. We need to think of a new strategy for now. Retreat and regroup. You're right, Captain. I suppose we've got no other choice. Well then, full speed ahead. Get out of range of that thing's attacks. Okay, so that was an unwinnable battle. Nothing is working. If we keep fighting it head on, we're going to lose. Hey, Fina, can you think of a way to stop it? Geekers don't make their own decisions. They only obey commands given to them by the ones who awaken them. Until Belazer commands it to stop, there's nothing we can do. Hmm. So if something were to happen to Belazer... I got it! I know how to stop that thing! You mean, attack Belazer's ship? I mean, attack Blazer's ship, right? If we can stop her, we can force her into calling off the Gigas. <laughs> you got it. That's a good idea. Either way, we'll last longer against her than we will against that thing. Alright, full rudder! Target Blazer's ship! All hands to battle stations! Aye aye, Captain. Ooh, the turn! Woo! 
Okay. We gotta fight the Lynx then. Oh my god, I just realized the Lynx is probably the ship that he saw, like, out in the rocks in the previous stream. It was hidden nearby. I'm probably gonna fight all of the admirals and their flagships. Haha, <laughs> meet my flagship, the Lynx. I'm looking forward to all of them. They're probably all gonna be great. Mm -hmm. I'll take your word for it, cops. I believe it. Now I will show you the true power of the Imperial Armada. My magic cannon will take care of that little ship of yours. She's got a magic cannon. Where'd she purchase that? Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna focus. God, focus, focus. Oh wait, no, we're gonna sacri. What we're gonna do is we're gonna guard. Second. We're gonna focus. Third. And we're gonna cast Sacris first. And then we're going to focus fourth. Oh my god, they just cast Incrim on a ship. I love that, like, all ma- Wait, does that mean that if we learn Incrim, we can cast it on our own ship? Hmm. I gotta learn more buffing magic. I was surprised when we could heal the ship with magic. Wait, they can cast Pyre! I can't cast Pyre. Can I? Oh, wait, no, it's the magic cannon. I see what they mean now. Ouch. Okay, keep focusing up, keep focusing up. Okay, our actions in this round... Okay, we're gonna have a decision that will determine the next set of rounds. Um, okay, what I'm thinking is God... God. Sacra is at the end of it, and then God. Yeah. We're gonna be taking evasive action for all of this. Ba -ba -dum, ba -da -ba -dum. Not the Lynx Torpedo! Wait, is that a delayed attack? Oh my god, oh no. Ah! Oh, thank heavens that I planned ahead. Nice. We were in trouble there for a second. Oh, come on, now they're taking evasive action on their last turn? Good thing we didn't attack them. Damn, the Lady Admiral's good. It's almost as if she could read our every move. Bias, I can't find any openings. Her defense is too good. What should we do? She'll be ready for us to try and get behind her ship. Like, that, that worked against the first guy. I think that we should turn hard and try to catch her off guard. Hmm, that ship's quicker than it looks. They may have surprised me this time, but I always have a backup plan. Preparation is one of the keys to victory, Hanson. Oh yes! I got the I got the I got the yellow turns. Okay, now. Main cannon. Main cannon. Standard cannon. God. 
fire. That's a solid hit. What I really need is an opportunity to use the harpoon cannon. That'll tear their ship in twain. Frickin' Lynx torpedoes. Ah! Ah, it freaks me out every time it does so much damage! Welcome, welcome, Dr. Hidaka. Welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. Oh god, there's gonna be another attack! Oh, wait, no, we're, we're fine. Ooh. I'm decently far into the game? Oh, I'm, I'm delighted to hear it. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome in Thunderbird Prime Channel. Welcome, welcome in Baseball 7000. Hi hi, thanks for joining us for the second hour. Damn, she's too good, I can't find any openings. Boy, we need to get into a good position to fire the harpoon cannon. <sighs> I don't trust my gut. I just feel like getting behind her is a mistake. Oh, if I start, well, I'm, mm, I don't have a 100% success rate, but like, with a game this good, who would start Skies of Arcadia and not continue with it? It's wild to me. This is a fantastic game. This isn't gonna be correct, but I'm gonna try it! Wait and see what she does! Lady Beleza, the enemy vessel is continuing along its present course. Ha ha ha! What's wrong, handsome? Couldn't think of anything to do? If you're not going to do anything, I will. God damn it! Okay. We can get through this if I do this. Oh dear. I'm going to have to use an item. I'm going to have to use a magic stone. Magic droplet. Wait, is that going to fix drachmas? Oh no, this is so bad. I'm going to die. Oh no. I've messed up here big time. Drachma's gonna use the- I should have just swapped- I should have had- Oh, man. If I can just weather this... I can still have Ike heal next turn. There's no way that magic droplet will apply to all my party members just because I'm in a ship and couldn't choose the target. There's that buff again! This isn't fair! Why won't she just sit still like everyone else does? How does she expect us to hit her with a harpoon cannon like this? Okay, so either way I'll have the opportunity here, but... Please let this trick her. Yes! 
Get roosed! Get roosed, woman! Okay. Gonna harpoon there. And we're gonna use a magic droplet. No, uh, let's just go all in. Let's just go all in. Harpoon here. Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. This needs to be the final turn. Come on! Come on! Because I'm out of magic to heal the ship with. Let the harpoon go. Let it deliver unto me glorious victory. We're in position. Fire! Fire! Oh, and we're going to finish it off with the next hit. That's the harpoon cannon for you. Yes! Have fun giving orders to the Red Gigas now, Beleza. And we got a Captain Stripe and a new cannon for the little Jack. This is going good. Another successful airship duel complete. Ica, signal Blazer's ship. Oh yeah, like, like th that's the critical moment of battle. Like it didn't do all the damage, but it does most of it. We had to seize that opportunity. Tell them that we will attack if they don't call off the Gigas. Yes. Aye, aye, that. Now all we need is for that Lady Admiral to listen to our demands. Oh, she won't do that. She's an evil lady. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. Belaza is not the kind of person that would needlessly sacrifice the lives of her crew. I'm sure she'll call off the Gigas. Oh no! Belaza, please. Oh my god, she actually did call off the Gigas. Maybe? Possibly? Slightly? Vice, look! The Gigas! Yeah! Wow, she actually did it! There was a... There was a reply from Belaza's ship! We have called off the Gigas! We are making an emergency landing! I repeat, we have called off the Gigas! We are making an emergency landing! We did it! Okay, now we just have to get the red moon crystal back, or this will happen again. Welcome, welcome, Sora, Jiki Hazure. Here we go, sky pirating again. Yes, we do. Oh my god, dramatic showdown. Yo, we just took it! We just took it like proper sky pirates! Let's go! You may have won the battle, but you are far from winning the war. There are five crystals left. The Valuan Armada never makes the same mistake twice. You shall not defeat us again. And we won't make the same mistake of underestimating you again either. We'll get those crystals. Bina, where should we go next? Don't! Not what? Not while she is standing two feet in front of you, Vice. God! Southwest of NASA, beyond the South Ocean. Not you too, Fina! There is a continent under the green moon. Really? There's a continent on the other side of, south of the South Ocean? Yes. The green crystal should be there. 
Yes, she's hot, but she's evil, Attenborough. See? See? She's, she's listening! Ha! Huh, that's the constant continent of Ixataka. Our soldiers are already there. It's jokes on you, Attenborough 83. I haven't seen Gundam ZZ. I can kill all the hot women I like. Besides, the South Ocean has a strong headwind. You'll never make it across with that tiny ship of yours. No need to worry about that. We're taking your ship's engine. With that much power, we can get across South Ocean in no time. Oh, Gramps! What? Then how am I going to get back? We all decided that you should go back on foot. You trick us, we take your engine. I think we're even now. She's so smug. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what was that saying? Only those who have walked through the desert can truly know its size? I don't want to kill all hot women, baseball. Just ones who are evil that get in my way. You want me to walk? Yeah. Well, I guess I don't have much of a choice. Oh, she's gracious in defeat. Love her. I never actually thought I would truly know the size of the desert. Hey, handsome. You win this time, but Valua is more powerful than you can imagine. And the trip to Ixataka is long and perilous. The chance that you'll survive long enough to get there is pretty slim. Are you sure you still want to go? You still have time to reconsider. Real sailors aren't afraid of the unknown. I want to see the world. I'm not going to rest until I've left my mark on it, and I won't let anything or anyone stand in my way. I understand. You're rash and impulsive. I hope you survive long enough for us to meet again. Let's go, little Jack. Mark 2. Hyper engine mode. You received the Red Moon Crystal. Oh, for sure, for sure, Dr. Hidaka. Like, they've got a really strong sense of character design and aesthetics with this game. Like, it's clear that they took a great deal of care in designing the, uh, the character models. Mm -hmm. It looks like we picked up a magic cannon from the Lady Admiral. Using this, we'll be able to fire cannonballs charged with magical energy. Just like Belazer was doing, right? That's great, Vice. Did you hear that? We should really put this thing to good use. Be careful, though, boy. Using the magic cannon uses up MP just like normal magic. So don't go too crazy with it. Save time. And that was a, just shy of an hour spent on... Uh, that frickin' gigas. Let's skedaddle. I thought it was an NPC ship, I swear! I thought it was an NPC ship, I swear! No! This here's our turf. Don't you think you can fly around these parts without paying a price? Well! Time to die! Didn't even equip any new cannons. I didn't equip it, corpse! I didn't change anything about the little jack! I can't test out the magic cannon because I didn't equip it. I just went, oh, I'll just go back to town. 
Oh, there's an NPC flying here. I didn't see them before. Let's go talk to them. And then it turns out they're enemy pirates. Oh dear. This guy's using evasive action a lot. The enemy's approaching. We're getting too close. We're right in the range of their cannons, Vice. Increased distance seems to be the obvious one here. Turn hard and get some distance between us. We'll need more room if we want to, want to fire the S cannon. Aye, aye. We'll show these black pirates a thing or two then. Okay. Attack with main cannon. Attack with standard cannon. God. Okay, we can now cast magic. Let's test it out then. I have Crystalis. Let's use that instead of a, of a, a regular attack. And then this, and then. God, God. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Nice, nice. Oh, it missed. Come on, come on, come on. Evasive action. Phew. Whoa, we just crossed each other real fast. We're freaking dog fighting in an airship. It's everything I've ever dreamed. Alright. Okay, we're getting to make or break time, but I think that we can avoid breaking in the first place. Just full, full auto, full spread, let's go. They're not going to be alive long enough to get the S cannon. Can I make a chicken parmesan? What the heck is a chicken parmesan? No. Of course not. I think you're mistaking me for someone who can cook. Like the other day, because there was some chicken that was about to go off and I was like the only one willing to cook it. Um, like it was run up to the expiry date. I I spent way too much time and too much effort in like um, coating the pieces of chicken in flour and then in egg and then in breadcrumbs. And I had to make the breadcrumbs. I had using a freaking food processor on some bread. And I breaded the chicken and then and then cooked it in a frying pan. And that's like that was a lot of effort and it was like the limit of my skills. My signature dish is a chicken calm. No, 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 no. My signature dish is uh, is chicken satay, which I make using a, a freaking a jar of store-bought satay sauce, of a satay simran sauce, and uh, 
a freaking you know a rice cooker and 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 chicken you know there's not much to it I don't even know what a chicken calm is okay so we do have the magic cannon just by default Aha! Oh yeah, I should finally find out, like... Okay, the standard cannon actually does better than the main cannon, so I should have been attacking with a standard cannon first. Let's replace this with a 3-inch blaster. Because this is, this is way better, this is the best thing. But apparently there's a limit to it. Wait, what? Hmm? What, what, what are you wanting, Anbro? I'm surprised I didn't just buy breadcrumbs. Well, the whole point, Anbro, is at the moment, uh, or rather at the time, uh, I didn't have any, like, this was just like a quick thing for dinner. I, it was right before, it was right before I was gonna stream this. It was like two days ago. Um, No, no, that's just the name of the cannon type. It's not like... There's there's multiple of them. It's just the name of the cannon type. It's just... It's just it, it's called the main cannon because it's the original cannon from the Little Jack. Like a starting weapon. Anyway, Drachma, we're going to equip you now with your souped-up hand. The excavation arm. We're gonna swap Fina's weapon. Yeah, she's she's at green. And Ika can use. But yeah, no. So we, so it was just basically like, what can I make with the stuff that we have on hand? Because otherwise, I would have just bought some sade sauce and made my typical sade chicken and rice. Uh, let's try giving Ike a yellow. Haven't really learned any yellow moves. Change that. Okay, so... We're trying to head across South Ocean. First we'll rest up at the inn, and then I should check back in at the, at the Sailor's Guild, at the entrance. How did we get the ship back earlier, BT Dubs? The ship back? Oh, you mean the little Jack? Um, uh, Drachma just came to rescue us. Because that old grandpa is Sundere. Sun Sun Sun. Dere Dere Dere. Now we have the full team of four. Yeah, Drachma's great. We love him. We stand Drachma. Mm -hmm. Dang it, talking about. Talking about the chicken I prepared made me hungry. I've been on a real cooking kick. I've been trying to make, I've been trying to sort of perfect my mashed potatoes. Is it still three max and land battles? No, four party members. Four party members. Everyone is here. And even more SP. Vice the ref I'm vice the respected, hell yeah. I'm selling info on stuff I've discovered. I'm 
Rupee of the Lasso Clan recently attacked Maramba. But I didn't see him anywhere nearby. Oh, I can finally, like, I've got I've, I, it's a ship mark, parts merchant. He had a, he had the cool thing, he had the torpedoes. A light torpedo, well suited for smaller ships, after launch, it attacks its target from above. Heavy cannon, eh? It's better than the main cannon, uh, but it costs more SP to use. Oh, oh, first thing that I should do. After firing, you will not hit a target until the following turn, and sometimes you can even delay it further by a round or two. Yeah, you can feel, you can feel it, right, Attenborough? You can feel the hype pumping through one's veins at the thought of vertical launch missiles. Captain Stripe. Sometimes we just want to pilot a mech and blow things up with a freaking storm of missiles. Is that so hard? Sometimes that's all we want. Okay. Improves the ships quick. Improves defense. Uh, I guess I'll buy all three of these. And then I'm gonna buy a light torpedo. And swap out one of the main cannons with it. And then I'm gonna buy a heavy cannon. And swap it with the other main cannon. So now this is what our, what our thing looks like. Do I like missiles that go straight to the target or missiles that curve around to hit a target? I like both. I like both. I like all. Every missile is a friend to me. Every missile in the galaxy. Sometimes you just want to go crazy with the darker. It reminds me of, um, and bro, I, I doubt that you've seen Gundam build divers, but there's a, um, it's not missiles, but it's beam spam. Um, the, like, second, like, like, the, the main protagonist of Gundam build diver, his, like, best friend, who's, like, the, like, the second dude in the, in the team, uh, just keeps customizing and customize, uh, like, customizing and, like, the, the, each new build that he has, it's just more beam spam. It's just more gun. It's just it's all it's all it's all more gun. It's fantastic. There's a bit of nuance in how the different cannons and torpedoes interact. You can do some clever things with them. Oh dear. Oh no. I'm not suited for clever things at all. Okay, so I think we're trying to go south of here. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, oh, straightforward companion. I mean, like, there's so, there's so much weaponry. Like, that will always be straightforward, like... Like, if you give a mecha a shotgun, that's always going to be straightforward. But missiles, they have the potential to curve, so you really want to see both types. Okay, southwest. Just 
Just in case, I'm just gonna save my save slots in... Even the character firing a main standard cannon affects its attack? Really? How so? Also, welcome in, welcome in, Kamiyana. You sort of slipped past me there because I was too excited about missiles. And, and, oh boy. God, when is there going to be another Gundam anime? I know there was just one, but I want more. We only got two cores. That's like half the length of Gundam 00. Okay, if everyone tries to hit this loop along, together we can do it. And bro, are you saying CCA is in Shah's counterattack? I've seen Shah's counterattack. Of course I've seen Shah's counterattack. When I was a child, my brother made me watch all of Gundam uh, 0079 and then all of Gundam Zeta specifically so that I would have context when he showed me Shah's counterattack. It was all for Shah's counterattack. And now I still, and now, and now, all these years later, I still can't get that bastard to watch Gundam Hathaway. I can't make him watch the movie. It's it's so annoying. The second one will be out by the time he finally watches it. I want to talk to him about it. He skipped ZZ. Uh, yes, he did skip ZZ. Uh, he no, he's he's come back to it now. Obviously, we were younger at the time. He he's he's watching. I, I believe he was watching through ZZ pretty recently. Listen up, boy. This area is known as South Ocean. It's considered to be one of the most difficult places to sail through. I have not seen ZZ, though. I did recently watch... He did recently show me, um... Stardust Memory. I believe is the one. Is the name of the thing. Which was great fun. It's considered to be one of the most difficult places to sail through. There's a strong crosswind that blows from the west. Nobody has ever successfully sailed through it. Like, Stardust Memory doesn't take, um, doesn't take the crown from 08 The Mess Team, but it was nice to see such high quality animation and city pop. The lands of the Green Moon are through here, right? And besides, we have Belaze's engine now. It's not like we don't have a chance of making it through. Hmm, perhaps. But my knowledge of this place is limited. You're on your own, boy. Drachma is now ride or die. This is his ship and he's just letting us take it. This isn't going to be an easy journey. Prepare yourself for the worst, kids. Okay. Let's try and see what everybody on the team focusing can do. Because if they can do what I want them to do... Yeah, that'll do it. This'll be a breeze. Wow, ah, did I vanish again? It seems to be happening more and more ma lately. Maybe I'm being erased from the universe. Oh yeah, I've got the- I've got it. I've got- I've got more than enough. Reign of Swords, baby! What do I think of Ko? Um, mixed feelings. Sometimes he was awesome, and sometimes he was a snot-nosed little brat. Which I guess is sort of, you know... Typical of, of many a Gundam protagonist.
Hey, I won't eat my carrots and you can't make me. Tackle! Oh my god, I've got so much S power now that I have three people on the team. I have so much S power. It does look sick, it, because it is sick. This guy are sick. Okay, I'm trying to head southwest. Okay, that was an immediate fight. Okay, everyone focus for a turn, and then we do Reign of Swords. The Lupalon shall flee. God, Drachma, you're so cool. Magic? What the heck is that move meant to be? Eternum. Was it like a miscast? Is that a silver move? Dude, they killed Drachma! The enemy has access to instant death magic. Repeat, the enemy has access to instant death magic. <laughs> Don't absorb my HP, you parasite. Where is my reign of swords? Ah! Of swords. You know what's interesting, right? Is I did not expect. Like, okay, the thing about the whole Beleza thing, I was I I knew she was running some kind of con on me. I thought she was going to be like a new party member or something. I did not think that she was going to turn out to be one of the fourth, uh, like one of the admirals that we had already been introduced to. That wasn't so bad. That was wild. Unfortunately, Drachma doesn't get EXP because of that freaking terrible thing. Fine, I heal him. Heal him twice. I'm gonna get to Ixtaka! Ixtaka! Ah! Oh come on, you can't open a battle with this! This is a one-shot, one-hit KO surprise attack! I need to save. I need to save now. Oh no, my progress. They did tell me this would be a dangerous trip. You know what? They had a point. They had a point. Okay. Delta shield. Luna glyph. Uh, no, just attack. Uh, focus. Tackle. Delta shield. This will protect us from further harm. Well, except the physical harm. 
There's no protection against that, I'm afraid. We can only keep going. God, why are there so many cool things? I I have gotten to start, like today I get to stream this game for a couple hours, and I've been able to like talk about Mecha and be really excited about that. There are such baller things in this world, mortals. Okay. Magic? No, you're miscasting. Oh, you have to be a mecha fan to make something like Skies of Arcadia. I'm certain of it. I can do! No! I'll tackle the Graver. Stop sucking my succulent nutrients, you scum. And the Lupulon still, still evades everything. Oh, the counterattack got it though. <laughs> nice. And now. I still, I still love that this move is called Tackle. Would you name this move Tackle? Pretty extreme for a Tackle. Alright, Vias, pick yourself up off the floor, we gotta go. Ooh, Electri was learned. Sign up. Akres, twice. Drachma is the strongest Pokemon with tackle. Hmm. We can only wonder. We can only wonder, Edinburgh, unless we had somebody who played the game in the original Japanese. Or at least knew somebody who had. Interesting rock. Ooh, that scared me. Keith was pretty neat. Ultimately, I feel like the characters of um, A Stardust Memory didn't make too strong an impression of, on me overall. For whatever reason. Hold on. Delta Shield. Aika, I'm sorry. I know that you are cool with your boomerang and I want to give you the ability to attack. But I can't risk it because these guys can cast instant death magic. I do like that Lupalon is an enemy type of like, oh hey, they're very hard to hit and they run away. But if you hit them at all, you definitely kill them. I did like that it made a lot of mis like it, it, it provided a lot of in-universe justification for stuff like the formation of the Titans, Attenborough. Critical hit. We got it. And god, the Titans still have the best uniforms. The best uniforms. There's Art of Me in a Titans uniform, I look sweet. Oh yeah, no, that was great. I was real happy for Keith.
when that happened. Okay. Easy, steady as she goes. We want to make port before the end of the stream. Okay, focus. Delta shield. Focus, focus. Delta shield. We got this in the bag. Should give us four po the four points we need at the start of next turn. Then it begins. Okay, false alarm. Rain of Swords. Delta Shield. I really love this combat system, it's all coming together. I just want to collect enough moonberries that like I have everybody's thing. I just realized this might be our party for the entire rest of the game and I would be totally okay with that. You know, a lot of JRPGs they like have multiple party members and then let you switch out, but I don't even see like hints of a system of that in place. So it might really just be these four. It's a good crew, it's a good it's a good set. Gotta stay out. Welcome, welcome, bit of hermit gamer, welcome, welcome. You are like like the the ninth, tenth person? To, say, to, to, to come in here saying it's one of your fave games ever? I, I think it might be more than that, actually. Like, Not even the first this stream. It's such it's so fantastic to see this game so loved. It means that everyone's got good taste. Because this is a really good game. Okay. Why don't we just Cutlass Fury that one, and then we attack that one. Yeah, I'm Cutlass Furying the far one, and then attacking the close one. No, it's using a turn! I'm not becoming a Skies Tuber, I... I was arrogant, I was arrogant, I was like, ah, oh, well, there's only two of them, they're not going to use a turnum. Of course they're going to use a turnum. God damn it. Drachma will live, Attenborough! Drachma will live! But yeah, welcome, welcome in, Vida Hermit Gamer. I can't imagine this game being your, like, gateway to JRPGs. It's such a good example of the genre. Oh, this Lupalon wants to fight, it wants to play! But I can't, I didn't come to play, I came to slay, let's go! <laughs> Wait, did I just get a Moonberry from random... First of all, we're going to save. I think I can unlock somebody else's new thingamajig. Looper enemies have a chance to... That's why! Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, um... Equipment. 
items. Oh, super move. I still only have one Moonberry. Oh right, because I, I got Ika a new... Ah, we haven't tested out Ika's new move. We haven't tested it out. Gotta test it out. Oh dang, I didn't... I forgot to heal Ika! No! Not like this, bros! No! Whoops, I suppose! Whoops! Teehee! Oh no! Oh dear! Now we got Ambush too, this is the worst. Have I saved yet? I saved just before this battle. Okay, well... I might as well just attack. <sighs> oh no, the Lupulon that she was gonna attack escaped! Dang it. I'm gonna use Reign of Swords next turn. Sea Angels? What's a Sea Angel, Kamiana? What? That one's dead. Rain of Swords. These instant kill gooey guys are... I, I didn't even check their names. They've just been bedeviling me. They are a real marine mollusk. This is why we don't go in the ocean. Yo, you have a physical copy? That's so awesome. I mean... I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I'm I'm totally playing this legitimately on a on real hardware. Of course, of course I am. I definitely have a real GameCube that I am playing this on. Backres. This is one dangerous voyage. Welcome, welcome, Merry Mermaid. Welcome, welcome. Are they pretty, really? I find them more... Like, everything in the deep sea is terrifying. I have a real dream cube. <laughs> <laughs> Just a knockoff GameCube. The Dream Cube. Okay. Two Moonberries should be mean that for somebody I can get their next one. Okay. I can't get the third one for Drachma. But I can get one for Fina. Okay, so that's a universal cure. Uh, a, a, a universal... Thingamajig. Um, Ika... Create a mirror-like aura that envelops Ika for one turn and restores 10 MP? I... I... Ah! If I was to use that in battle, I could have infinite MP. I don't think we need it yet, though. 
I've been wanting to see this one, so we'll learn this S move. I have a picture of the real life ones. I don't want to click this, but I will. That's terrifying. I don't want to see it. Nope. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Yeah, pretty terrifying, Attenborough, I agree. Like, I understand you might think, oh, that's a pretty picture. Think of, think of encountering those, think of encountering those, and in the, in, like, they are in front of you, they are moving, they are schmoving. Skull Shield. I want a Lambda Burst. Well, that's focusing on Delta Shield. And then these two can focus up. Pirates of old, defend our cause! Pirates of old, defend our cause! Oh my god. Okay, this is what I like to call a perfect defense field. Yeah, but also Marin Mermaid, like, even, okay. Starfish freaked me out. And rightly so. Like, anything that exists in the water, the water is not our space. No, jellyfish are terrifying. People can find whatever they they like cute. Jellyfish are terrifying. Anything that lives in the ocean, kill it. Kill it all with fire. I don't obviously don't actually kill it, but like keep it away from me. This is why I do not live in the sea. This is why I will never go in the sea. We have pools! We invented pools to swim in, aren't we clever? Nobody ever needs to go in the sea ever. It's fantastic. Lambda burst. If I hate the sea, why do I look like a pirate? I'm not a pirate, I'm simply an extremely powerful and cursed being. I am Carmine Phlegathon, he who was cursed under the red moon of fate, and he who wields a demon within his right arm. Lambda burst! Doesn't do anything to loopers, though. Unlike Reign of Swords. You're not- I mean, like- uh... I mean, yes, Marin Mermaid, you're also scary, but I make an exception in your case. I am sc I am a little frightened of all mermaids. He prefers Sky Bandits. Watch. Ahem. Cute. Visor. Ah, yes. The visor is cute, baseball. That is correct. I don't know what kind of Pavlovian response you were trying to, to trigger. Yeah, I just, I, just got, I just got a black map. I'm about to check it. I don't know what I'm meant to do with the Rune of Ill Omen. Oh, I should use the Vital Seed on Fina. Um, I don't know what stat Will is. It's Cash. Cash? Black map, black map. Oh, a map that leads enemy creatures to the holder also improves chances for first strike. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna equip that. That sounds like a recipe for disaster.
All right, all right, all right, oh. Where is the other side of this big ocean? A tool to facilitate grinding. Yeah, that makes sense, but... Oh boy. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack. We're gonna Delta Shield, and we're gonna attack. And we're gonna attack. Yeah, you should watch Treasure Planet. I only watched it myself one time as a kid, but like... It's very well animated, and it has- it's- It's pirates in space! What else do you need? What else do you need in a film, other than pirates in space? That- that film should have been a bo a box office- It should have done gangbusters at the box office. It should have been a supernova. It's pirates in space. The documentary on its production? Which documentary, Marin Mermaid? Was it was it by any chance? Uh, would that documentary any of uh, by any chance have been by Bread's Word? Because I've seen uh, that that YouTube doco on it. Ah, been a hermit gamer. It's it's uh, it's actually, I'm like like that's late for you. It's it's one a.m. for me, but four a.m. is wild. <laughs> get some rest. Get some rest. I'll I'll be streaming it all uh, around this time every time. Especially the cute cat lady captain watches especially for that. Corpse, why are you hum why are you humming? Why are you humming at that? Why are you humming at that, okay? Everyone agrees that the cat lady captain in Treasure Planet is cute. That's just a universal fact. There's nothing suspect in Attenborough's in Attenborough's reaction. Oh, bit of hermit gamer, I live in hell. Things like nationality mean little to me. But I'm a denizen, I'm a denizen of the cursed underworld. Very human. I just live here. The day we get a treasure planet cage world is the moment we get an Atlantis world. Marin Mermaid. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Kingdom Hearts is gone. It's lost. Kingdom Hearts 4 will not be good. I am a diehard fan. And this is the, the, tr the bitter truth that I must wake up every day and face. Kingdom Hearts 4 is not going to be a good game, and Disney meddling is going to be even worse than Kingdom Hearts 3. And that sucks, but it's how it be. <sighs> Alas. Cage 4 will be peak. No, it won't be! It's like the only Square Enix game that's going to come out in one of my favorite franchises that is like, like going to be bad. It's gonna be their first, okay, it's gonna be their first notable miss, okay. Square Enix has been dropping banger after banger, okay. Final Fantasy VII Remake, Neo The World Ends With You, Final Fantasy XVI, soon to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But KH4? There is no hope. Delta Shield. I still doubt the existence of FF9 Remake. Marin Mermaid, Marin Mermaid, th Marin Mermaid, this will be the most important thing that I can ever tell you. This is the most important information that I can ever impart to you. Play The World Ends With You on the original Nintendo DS, on a physical DS. It can be on anything from a DS to a 2DS to a 3DS. Like any form, like DSi, DSi XL. But 
play The World Ends With You on a physical DS. It's the only way. You won't regret it. Just that FF9 was just alright. This is an extremely contentious... No, like, like, Marin Mermaid, like, the copies aren't that expensive. You can get one for cheap. It's not like a rare game. It is 100% worth it. I'm not even kidding, it's the best game that, that's, ever, that's ever been made. But the point is, is that, like, if you're not going to play it on the physical, you, you really shouldn't play it, because it's actively worse in the, all the other ports and versions. Oh, here we go. Saying FF9 is just alright baseball, that's, that's grounds for a pattern. I didn't get the demon arm for a DS. I got my 3DS by working a paper route when I was younger. I was a paper boy, okay? The long and short of it. <laughs> See, look! FF9 fans! You don't want to mess with them! You don't want to mess with them, baseball! Though I personally wouldn't put FF9 above 7 or 10. But then I haven't never finished 9! Because I'm looking... I'll never finish 9. Yeah! Right, Mary Mermaid? Get on that! Pop that on a throne or something! Get yourself a copy. Okay, yep. <laughs> oh, Dr. Hidaka, but when you say emulated FF5, could you perhaps be referring to the original fan translation of Final Fantasy V before the official P PlayStation 1 English release? Uh, the way the original translation of, of, of Bart's Claus's name was Butts, which is, which is would technically correct. The original translation, wow, cool! Oh, so welcome in, underscore VL, welcome, welcome. Hi, hi! I have no idea, underscore VL, it's been ages since I played the translation. But, yeah, no, so, um, I'm never gonna be, I don't think, I, I have to finish Final Fantasy IX at one point, but the problem with Final Fantasy IX is just like Final Fantasy VI and V, it has a two-player mode, and I need to play it two-player. But, like, where do you find the perfect two-player, a second player, or first player, I'm not picky, to play Final Fantasy IX with. Because I love playing Final Fantasy 2 player. I've played a bunch of FF5 and FF6 2 player with my bro. And the very fun memories for me. What, like, boots, Dr. Hidaka? I guess I can kind of see it. It is meant to be like a Germanic name, I'm pretty sure. Hey, look! There are leaves blown in the wind! Which means we're close to land! We finally made it across South Ocean! You have found the Ixataka! 
Most people in the world do not even know that a continent exists across the South Ocean. The discovery of this lush, rich continent with a long history has demonstrated the possibility that even more unknown, undiscovered lands may await. Now how the heck am I ever going to get back from this place? I'm sure those these leaves come from Ixataka. Under the light of the green moon, ever since ancient times, the lands of Ixataka have been covered in lush forests. The life-grooving green moon has blessed the lands with fertility. Wow. Blessed lands, huh? Oh my god, there's gonna be one of these every time we come across a new, a new area. If that's true, I'm sure there are all kinds of delicious things to eat there. I can see it now. Piles and piles of fruits and vegetables of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and tastes. I, I, it's a great bit. I love it. I bet there are just as many carnivorous monsters roaming around the woods too. Preying upon unsuspecting fools who sit there, stuffing their faces with fruit. Hey! You don't have to crush my hopes like that! <laughs> if Ica was hungry enough, she'd probably eat the monsters too. Hey. Bass, look what you did! Now you got Fina do it, Fina doing it. I still gotta catch myself sometimes. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> Get to your posts. Get ready to drop anchor. Aye aye, aye, aye Captain. As soon as we see Ixataka, we'll look for a spot to land. Aika, Vice, look how you changed Finer's fantasy. Oh, I saw what you did there, underscore view. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you about that baseball. I only managed to play a little today. I was busy, I was busy. I'll be busy tomorrow, too. Working in the hell mines. I didn't know Finer was in a Valkyria Chronicles, too. I know Vice and Aika were. At least I heard so in the, in the first stream. One more save. Also, baseball, Nachan is not the president of the Lollipop. Oh, no, no. Toa is not the president of the Lollipop Guild, but also she's not really relevant uh, for that part of the game in the first place. Not particularly so, anyway. Fina is the medic that shows up when you rescue Dand allies. Oh my god! I remember that. Oh my god, look what happens if you skim the ground. It plays this... Like, like, you actually skim up leaves! I vaguely remember the medic. Oh my god, there's so many of them. You know what you must do. Rain of Swords! Rain of Swords! Aha! Your magic does nothing to me! Look at these enemy designs, they're wild! Oh no, Fina, what happened to her? Uh, yeah, she's confused, all right. Okay, give us the points we need. Give me the strength I need! Fist of the Beast King! Sorry, I accidentally an uh, activated the Manchurian Candidate-esque trigger phrase in my brain that uh, made me act out a moment from the Digimon Tamers dub. I'm so sorry. Shield. 
Correct, Dr. Hidaka. I am not a Chunibyo, for my power is cursed and very real. Extremely real. A Chunibyo's power is not real. God, they're swarming. Oh, rest well, Marin Mermaid. Sleep well. We're coming to the end of the stream anyway. I am not a Chunibyo. My power is very real. Wait. Did, did, did I not get to... Do the thing? Oh, they confused Vice! Lamb to burst instead. It won't attack the Looper enemies, but it'll do for these. Ah oh, man, confusion, that sucks. That wasn't so bad. Oh, it wasn't so bad, Mr. God himself confused, didn't give me a rain of swords. I love that little effect that, that that happens there. Okay. Let's make land. Oh, you're kidding me. This has to be a place where people live. Yeah, see? Wait, no, it's a- it's a crashed ship. Is this- is this not actually it? Delta shield. Use that Sacros Crystal Fina. <laughs> oh no, that's a buff. Let's try this. I thought for sure that this was it. I thought surely it must be it. Let me, double, let me double check my map. It should say if there's a settlement. I could always end the stream here and and search for a uh, the settlement could be searching for the settlement could be the start of next stream. I didn't actually make it to the general land of Ixitaka. Reign of Swords. I knew it! I knew they were going to try some dastardly magic. Do the thing, do the thing, Vice, do the thing now! Rain of Swords! That wasn't so bad. And we got a Moonberry. Yeah, I think I gotta go further north.
We'll save here for now. All right, we've spent about an hour in the uh, in the flight saddle. Now, time for the end of stream wrap up. I've got to go to bed, but thank you all for hanging out, uh, hanging in there, and watching me stream. Uh, we'll probably, uh, it'll, you know, same time tomorrow. We're doing this daily. Um, and tomorrow, because I will not have Hell Mines the following day, I should be able to to crack on to to do like three hours or something like that. <laughs> now, what raid element would you guys like? We have fire, water, lightning, ice, earth, dark, light, or wind. I'm afraid that we don't have the poison element. Alas, alas, alas. Also, thank you, Dr. Hidaka. I'm, I, uh, I was shown how to do this transition by a cooler VTuber. Welcome, welcome, Kuro is not salty. Welcome, welcome. We're coming to the end of the stream, unfortunately. Uh, no, I, was, I wasn't playing League of Legends. I was playing Skies of Arcadia Legend. The people demand more elements. I've already given you eight elements! I've already given you guys all of the elements that are in Legend of Dragoon! Would you truly be so, so, so greedy for elements? That you require more elements than the element set of Legend of Dragoon? Chat. <laughs> like, we're gonna run out of words! We're gonna run out of words, people! We're not allowed to have duplicates. Uh, crown here at the end, okay. Um. Beep. There are always numbers. Ah, yes, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine raid. No, like we're gonna, like we're gonna run out of descriptive words for the raids themselves. No, not element four thousand eight hundred and sixty-five. <laughs> there will be no poison. There will be no jazz. There will be no punch element. And non-elemental isn't an element. So water it shall be. Jack so Jack, Jack gets so feisty. You guys get so feisty. <laughs> All right, there's the water element raid message. Now we just need to find ourselves a water element raid target. Well, we we don't want the target to be water element because then it won't do much damage. Humu, humu, humu. Um, 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 um. Hum, 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 hum. Let us raid. That's right, Arthur Rabbit. His vibe is different. He, his vibe is very different from the vibe of my stream. Wait, oh, hold on. I am fish. I've never even heard of that game. Who is this target corpse? Do you have someone you recommend? Cause like I'll take a recommendation. It's a game where you play as a fish. Strange, isn't it? 
I do not. For the Twitch Mobile. Neosura? Is that the handle? Oh. There's. Oh, it's because I didn't put a zero in there. Let's see, let's see. Let me listen in for a sec. Do you recommend this individual corpse? Oh my, they're very dem demonic looking. They're very they're they're very fierce looking. She's very fierce looking. But she's also currently rolling a fish inside of a jar, so it produces a kind of gap. Okay, let's raid them then. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If I can just pop that in. Gapmo is very powerful, Edinburgh. It is a force that builds nations and destroys continents. You must always be aware of the ebbs and flows of the living Gapmoe. Alright, alright, alright. I've never heard of this game or the stream before, but it looks to be a very interesting combination. So, I shall send you all off, and water, the water element fits very well nicely. Now, I shall send you through the... Oh, wait. For that, thank you all so much for coming. You're all wonderful people, wonderful models, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, or simply just a good rest. Now, I shall send you through the portal to realms unknown. Commence. The endless torrential, cascading, eroding, supreme, iridescent, refractive, hyper, fully charged, rainstorm, typhoon, tsunami, raid! Farewell.